Welcome to Frederick County Public Library's STEM Sational Virtual Programming. My name is Miss Kristen. Do any of you love to make gingerbread cookies or houses? I know that this is a popular tradition during this time of year. And maybe you also like to read the stories of the gingerbread man or the gingerbread baby. We offer many versions of the gingerbread cookie stories that you can place on hold and check out through our curbside pickup. The classic version of the gingerbread man adapted by Mara Alpern. Jan Brett's story of the gingerbread baby, as well as the sequels, Gingerbread Friends and Gingerbread Christmas. The Gingerbread Girl by Lisa Campbell Ernst. The Gingerbread Cowboy by Janet Squires. The Runaway Tortilla, written by Eric A. Kimmel. The Gingerbread Pirates by Kristen Kladstrup. The Fun Gingerbread Man series, written by Laura Murray, as well as many other takes on the Gingerbread Man story. Today, I have an engineering challenge for you. But first, let's do a quick retell of the Gingerbread Man folktale. Once upon a time, a woman longed to have a child to care for, so she decided to make a little gingerbread man cookie. While the gingerbread man baked, the cookie smelled so sweet, the woman opened the door to peek in, and that's right! A live gingerbread man popped out of the oven! The gingerbread man was afraid to be eaten, so he hurried out the door. Now, if you're familiar with the story of the gingerbread man, you know what he likes to say. Can you say it with me? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The woman and her husband chased after the gingerbread man, for they wanted to take care of the little cookie. As the cookie ran, he passed animals and people who were attracted to his delicious smell and wanted to eat him. The animals and people who chase the gingerbread man are often different in each story. The gingerbread man was a boastful little cookie, though, and he continued to tease everyone, saying, Say it with me. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man felt worried because there was a great number of people and animals that chased after him and kept getting closer. A sneaky fox spied the gingerbread man and saw that the cookie was desperate to escape. The fox, who also wanted a taste of the gingerbread man, came up with a plan. When the gingerbread man reached a river, he knew that he would be caught if he could not find a way across. The sneaky fox appeared and offered to help the gingerbread man across the river by carrying the cookie on his back as he swam across. Those who chased the gingerbread man had gotten closer, so the gingerbread man decided to trust the fox and jumped onto his back. Hold up! Who trusts a fox? If you've ever read a folktale before, you know this is a terrible idea. Well, today, I want to challenge you to engineer, that's just a fancy word for design and build, a solution to get the gingerbread man safely across the river without having to use the assistance of the fox. Hmm, what are some ways that we could cross a river? Well, you'd have to be a really strong swimmer if you would like to swim across the river, and the poor gingerbread man, he would turn soggy in the water if he tried to swim across. What else could we use to cross a river? Could you use a car? Yeah, you can't put a car in the water, but you could drive a car over a bridge. Maybe that's a solution. Perhaps we could build a bridge for the gingerbread man to run across in order to cross the river without jumping on the fox's back. Some possible supplies you might like to use if you are going to build a bridge include uncooked spaghetti, candy, marshmallows, popsicle sticks, building blocks, Legos, Play-Doh, glue or tape. The possibilities are endless. All right, what's another way to cross the river? We've come up with the idea of building a bridge. Hmm. How about a boat? A boat would be a great way. If you want to engineer a boat at home, you need to think about using supplies that can float. 
Some possible materials to build a boat might include foil, popsicle sticks, sticks from your yard, string or cord, corks, cardboard egg cartons, water bottles or juice boxes, and glue. Again, the possibilities are endless. All right, I have an assistant here with me today, and we are going to see what sort of solutions we can engineer to help that gingerbread man safely cross the river without using the assistance of the fox. Let's see what solutions we can come up with. Here we go. So here we have a finished bridge and boat for the gingerbread man to cross our river, which is here in a Tupperware container. Can you tell us what you built the bridge out of? Legos, toy blocks, building blocks, duct tape, popsicle sticks, and a paper plate. Great, and why don't we take a gingerbread man up the bridge and see if the bridge can support his weight the most important thing with a bridge. We want to make sure that it will stay standing and support whatever is going to go across it. All right, and it looks like our bridge is strong enough to hold our little gingerbread men that we made. Great, so we're gonna take down our bridge and get ready to test out the boat. And now for our boat solution. What did you use to create your boat? And the popsicle sticks are your oars. Mm -hmm. All right, let's add the gingerbread man into the boat. We're going to make sure that our boat does not sink. Oh, the gingerbread man lost his bow. <laughs> we want to make sure that our boat doesn't sink and that our gingerbread man will not become a soggy cookie. We're going to get a different gingerbread man. Here we go, testing them out. Okay, it looks like we have a boat that floats. He's staying above water. He looks pretty nice and secure there. So I think he would make it across the river in time before the paper plate starts to get a little too wet. All right, so it looks like we have some great, well-engineered solutions to help the gingerbread man safely cross the river without hopping on the fox's back. Thank you. If you accept the Gingerbread Man Challenge and you design a boat or a bridge to help the Gingerbread Man safely cross the river, please place a photo in the comments below. I would love to see your builds. And maybe you think outside of the box and come up with another way for the Gingerbread Man to cross the river. Hmm, I'm thinking a Gingerbread Man catapult or a zip line. Science and STEM can be so much fun. Thank you for joining me today and be sure to follow FCPL for more virtual program fun. Bye-bye.